Do social media and dating apps influence women's sexuality? What is the impact of unrealistic expectations from movies and TV shows on sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, social media and dating apps can influence women's sexuality by facilitating communication and connection with potential partners. They can also contribute to sexual education and the exploration of preferences. Unrealistic expectations from movies and TV shows can generate insecurities and unnecessary pressures in sexual life. These exaggerated representations affect self-esteem and emotional connection in relationships. Open communication is essential to cultivate a healthy sexual life, recognizing that media representations do not always reflect reality. Age and orgasm. As women age, they often find it easier to reach orgasm. This is due to increased knowledge of their bodies and greater confidence in sexual intimacy. Anal muscle exercises. Some people practice exercises to strengthen anal muscles, such as Kegel exercises, to improve comfort and control during anal sex. Ancient practice. Anal sex is not exclusive to the modern era. It has been depicted in various cultures and times throughout history. Anorgasmia is the inability to achieve orgasm. It can be caused by physical or psychological factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Authenticity. Being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Cared for skin. Healthy and well cared for skin is often considered attractive, reflecting personal care. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Communication. After the act. After the experience, it's important to talk about how both parties felt. Open communication can strengthen intimacy and mutual understanding. Consent law. Consent is a fundamental principle in sexual relationships. Legally, the lack of consent in a sexual activity is considered sexual assault or rape, highlighting the importance of clear communication and mutual consent in any sexual interaction. Cotard syndrome is a rare disorder in which a person believes they are dead or that their genital organs have disappeared. This condition can affect one's perception of identity and sexuality. Cultural stigma. Despite growing acceptance, anal sex has often been surrounded by cultural stigma, which may affect some women's willingness to try or talk about it. Distance orgasm. Some women can reach orgasm simply through the stimulation of erogenous zones, such as nipples, lips, or even the neck, without directly touching the clitoris or genital area. Diversity of sexual orientations. Sexual orientation is diverse and goes beyond heterosexuality. It includes orientations such as homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many others. Each person has their own unique orientation. Dominance and submission fantasies are common in human sexuality. Some people enjoy dominant roles, while others prefer submissive roles in sexual relationships. Effects of pornography. The consumption of pornography can have varied effects on people. Some may find that it enhances their sex life and intimacy, while others may experience negative effects such as erectile dysfunction or relationship problems. The key is balance and moderation. Ejaculation. Time. The average duration of male ejaculation is about five seconds, but it can vary significantly from one man to another. Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Erectile dysfunction and performance anxiety. Performance anxiety can contribute to erectile dysfunction in men. Fear of not being able to satisfy a partner can negatively impact erectile function. Erectile dysfunction in women. 
While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Eroticism in literature. Erotic literature has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Exposure therapy is a technique used to treat sexual anxiety problems, such as erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. It involves gradual exposure to sexual situations to reduce anxiety. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. Female ejaculation. Although more common in men, some women may experience a form of ejaculation during orgasm, known as female ejaculation. The ejaculated fluid is released from the urethra and is different from vaginal secretions. Female orgasm in mammals. While the female orgasm is common in humans, it is less common in other mammals. Its function and reproduction remains a topic of debate. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Health effects. Orgasms have been shown to have health benefits, such as the release of endorphins acting as natural painkillers and improving mood. History of vibration. The use of vibrating devices for sexual stimulation dates back to the 19th century. Initially created as medical devices to treat female hysteria, they became popular sexual toys. Hygiene. Hygiene is important before engaging in any sexual activity, including anal sex. Some people choose to shower beforehand to feel more comfortable. Importance of lubricant. Lubricant can enhance comfort during sex, especially in situations of vaginal dryness or when using sexual toys. Choosing an appropriate lubricant is important. Influence of pornography. Pornography has had a significant impact on sexual expectations and sexual education for many individuals. It can be a source of inspiration, but may also create unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Caretza is an approach to sexual intimacy that focuses on emotional connection and mindfulness rather than orgasm. This practice promotes prolonged and deep sexual relationships, based on the idea that controlling arousal can strengthen the connection between partners. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Male anorgasmia. Anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.